So yeah, this is the first time for me going on a little kayak over overnight here. It's drizzling a little bit, but we're not gonna let that uh, influence us in any way. It's not gonna be serious. Anyhow, first time, I'm sure I'll learn a lot. I've been waiting to do this for quite a while because this is what I've been wanting to do down here in the deep south where it's about a billion degrees most of the time. But anyway, let's get on it. Yeah, we got company. Okay, no doubt, man. A little rough going uh, on the start of this. We've been in the water as much as out of it because it's so darn shallow. Uh, this is going to be a challenging one. We'll just see how it goes, you know. I guess, I guess that's my slogan for this trip. Hot day, hot day, cool water, lots of sand. Keep going. Getting some cloud cover now. It's helping the temperatures. I'm getting a little bit of a, uh, getting a little bit of gray skies and thunder over here. But uh, um, I don't think it's uh, going to really affect us that much. I didn't really prepare for any rain. All right, have a little bit of monsoon action here. Been a while since I got rained on out in the trip. I guess uh guess we'll be finding out how well I'm protecting my camera gear. Okay, well that happened. See how we were here all that thunder. Well, the downpour came. We've been uh it's been the last better part of an hour hold up and just uh interesting bushes and stuff on this uh, on this bank. <laughs> Still raining. Uh Creek's gone a little bit salty, but I think it rose a bit, so it's going to make things a bit easier, and we're no longer sweating. Okay, that's the first for both of us. It's turned out to be quite the uh, quite the chill uh, paddle after the uh, after the rain. So I saw the spot, but the clearing up on the sandbar looked like, like it might be a pretty cool campsite. And uh, did some walking around. I'll show you, show you what I'm talking about here. Yeah, it looked like that. This is much better than 20 minutes ago. Heck yeah. Did you see the rope swing over there? No, I missed the rope swing. Yeah. comes into this turn off turn around thing people have been pretty good to it there's very little uh, litter anywhere uh, some orange peels that's about it pretty nice pretty nice So I could totally see stringing a hammock from here to there. And then there's what appears to be this trail, of course. Look at that, look at that, ain't that cool? 
This is cool. Beautiful. Beautiful little creekside trail. Wouldn't know how to get here from the road, but know how to get here from the water. Might even be dry enough right now to get a GPS on this. Would be interesting. Anyway. Okay, so the light's getting low. Uh, we found a place that looked really cool for a campsite, uh, but they had like uh, private property signs all over it, so we don't want to be bugging anyone. Anyhow, back where Jason is there, going there a ways, it's a little buggy, uh, but I uh, found some levelish ground and it's kind of soft too, and I found some suitable trees to hang from, so I'm gonna pop on the bug repellent and uh, get the camp set up straight away. So I just want to take a second here to show off my new knife. I've got a friend who likes to send me knives. Nice to have friends like that. This is a Bare Bones number 6. That's a 6 inch uh, blade. Uh, carbon steel. Walnut handle. Uh, nice spine. Throws a lot of spark. Yeah. Light it up. Yeah. Coolest thing about this uh, though is right out of the box. This, uh, this blade is shaving sharp. I have never seen that from the factory and you can't get any better than that so that is definitely cool with me uh really knifey type stuff i've got to do right here is i got some uh, dried up sassafras tent pegs here i picked up in the talladega and uh just uh, sharpen them up here you know it's knife it works And 
that uh, clip right there uh, actually fits into a molly strap so it's a really uh, really good way to attach it to your bag and whatnot so there's my knife cutting wood, cutting wood. all right Jay set up just inside the wood line here this is his deal here's his little mini tent his gear and I'm back here with all the critters and mosquitoes here's my hammock there's my gear my clothesline that's enough of that anyway I'm trying to make a fire to eat we're tired must must eat it's good yeah oh yeah it's good yeah yeah it's good Morning number two on the old kayak camp. It's all right night. Uh, slept okay. I've had worse nights. I've had better. But, uh, you know, my stuff got a little wet. My blanket was a little wet. You know, there's nothing quite as gross as putting on all wet clothing in the morning and stuff. But, uh, well, it's about nine in the morning. We've been uh, messing around with getting it together. Try to get back out in the water. The Alabama sun is baking us already. And, uh. We're about to be off. We've got a lot of ground to cover if we're going to be uh, coming out at this point that uh, we had planned to. So that's about uh, 15 miles or so. Anyway, getting on with it. So the stream widened out as you can see in those last couple shots to a river. I mean, I've, I've been on rivers that have been smaller than that, but right now we're standing on, I know it's hard to see, but we identified this, uh, this was supposed to be where we camped the first night. We saw it on, uh, we saw it on Google Maps and called it Goof Island. And who knows what that would have been. Anyway, stopping for a little break in a bath.
So yeah, we pulled off about uh, 13 to 14 miles uh, since camp today. Great trip. Man, it was sunny. It rained on us. It stormed big time last time, but now we're uh, at our takeout point. We weren't, we weren't lonely out here, let's just put it that way. But you know, it is a Sunday. We're still in the middle of the COVID That's pandemic right, and people right. brightly want to get out and uh, you know get out in the water and experience nature and do that uh, which is fine not ideal but that's fine anyway hope you enjoy this get out and do something and i'll see you on the next one